that you don't want to deal with. Right. But so, meanwhile, they still have the Akai to potentially help the Tarith out to deal the crowd control and let the Harith freely move. Meanwhile, we can see in here being hovered Gushin. Hmm. And will this be a Martis? We'll have to know. We'll have to wait. This is a lot of raw damage that's going to have to be dealt with by Archangel. So I'm actually 50-50 on this one. They seem to... If they lock this in, it can't be locked. Usually, Martis, you can't catch it with a Zaman Force because of the Mortal Coil. So that's kind of... Picking. We have to bank on that. I think Finesse has to play around making use of full use of the Mortis to go into mm -hmm. the backline of the Harith. And let's see if the tanks in support on the side of Archangel Wicked Mind is going to let that Mortis get actually inside or go to the backline of Archangel Wicked Mind to get the Harith. Meanwhile, still... Um, oh, there you go. They're going to offer a marksman composition as well for, for both of these teams. So we have three bouncers to protect two white-haired <laughs> people. So Bouncer. that sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. That sounds very, very familiar indeed. It's a carry and a uh, harif. Yes. Um, again, usually we see pro teams. They don't. They don't mind. They just let the harif go. You're gonna notice Aldo isn't even being noticed by any of these teams at yeah. all. No ban, <laughs> no big, pick. Yeah, no bans, no pick for the Aldo. So, but probably they have something in mind. Uh, it could be about their comfort heroes, but it could be as well uh, trying to counter. But I, I feel that on this draft, they actually try, they, they're trying to counter each other. They were. They yeah. really were trying to counter each other uh, pick for pick. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, they also, the additional burden is on Finesse to deal with the Harif, uh, Harif counter pick. So it's going to yeah. be very difficult for them to answer that. They drafted against it with the Bartis, with the Gushan. Mm -hmm. It's a great tool to chase at the backside, but you also have to take into consideration that's going to happen later on in mm -hmm. the game. Plus, again, they got an Akai on the side of Archangel. Um, you know, if you get crowd controlled by this, um, you know, you might be in trouble. And let's see if that's actually going to happen as we go on to the second match between Finesse Phoenix versus Archangel Wicked Mind. It's 1 0 at the moment in favor of Archangel. Yep, and it's looking really, really good here for Archangel. They got so they got what they got a really OP pick. Uh, a lot of people would say so. Early game, they probably have a huge advantage. Don't forget the uh, their bolted scythes for this Famas also does a lot of damage in the early uh, earlier stages of the game. So they're going to be making full use of that, finding a scruffling around the buff area. First blood going to be secured by Archangel. They're still not done. They're trying to go for the chase, and I might actually get it if we see them. But apparently, they will be able to disengage just on the nick of time. Finesse Phoenix, they survive. And while that was actually happening, you can see Finesse Phoenix taking an opportunity in the bottom lane to cut creeps. One casualty so far, and... Ooh, where did the gold uh, went? It actually went to the side of Finesse. Yeah, it went to the uh, Claude. To the Claude, yeah. Yep, that's actually pretty good for the blue side squad. Right. In the meantime, they need to just leave Kilowash there for the for quite a long period of time because obviously he won't be able to uh, contribute. So that's a lot of pressure for the other four members of Archangel to put the pedal to the metal, as they say. Right, you can see here all alone in the bottom lane, the carry is freely farming at the moment. Not too sure why Finus Phoenix wouldn't take advantage of that, wherein the carry was all alone. Turtle, um, the Valerix on the top side, probably Thamus is jungling together with the Thamus. Um, as for me, I think this in this early game, early minute game time, Finus Phoenix is something, I don't want to say it's all wrong. But I want them to actually take advantage of that lone carry in the bottom lane. Yeah, that's actually the weak point here for Archangel, which should be taken care of. Although, for the meantime, they are choosing to ignore it yeah. completely. Jeff Cutie forever going to be here for the backup as well as Lusty. They dive in. Freeman is going to be locked in, but apparently not. They make enough space to make it out. In the middle of the fight, Jeff Cutie forever is still fighting. He gets a kill. Can he get more? Tian in danger. Rio on the chase. He gets a kill. That's two members down for Finesse. They answer with Wave going into the Martis. Mortal Coil doing a lot of disruption to the Archangel lineup. And they... Uh, they're just waiting. Half HP right now on the turtle. They're not done. And there you go. Looks like Wave is going to try to go in and try to get one more kill. But apparently, though, 
uh, the member of uh, the side on the side of Team Finesse Phoenix could be punished. That's actually that's on the gusher. Man, the disaster is already starting here for Finesse Rio. Salmon Force to get some cooldown out, Whoa. and Russ wow. is just taking the damage like a boss. Almost, almost, almost got taken out. That Finesse Russ on the Grok, thanks to the shields and additional MDEF uh, physical defense as well by just sticking nearby walls. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> that was actually close. If they, they were they started that in the middle of the lane, that would have been a completely yeah. different story. Again. Uh, good job for Finesse Phoenix, not giving away too much, but Archangel, they are flying right now. Again, a weak point in here on the side of Archangel, we get minus is the bottom lane, not being taken advantage of Finesse by Finesse Phoenix. Instead, looks like they want to focus more on the Harith in the middle lane, which is actually being protected, well protected by the Akai. Let's see uh, if there will be a, a, a turning point in here in the top lane as we see a 3 or 4 versus 2 situation. Oh my goodness! That was Great! The wow. HP bars just uh, basically went to loan. And that so, is why uh -huh. teams prioritize the Grok. Such early game AOE damage and burst that cannot be dealt with. And considering that was only a 2v4, it was very easy for them to get out without any damage. However, Rio, they're fighting under this Almond Force. Jay locks in Tian. Tian will go down. Where's the follow up here for Archangel Oni? Oh, Archangel, look at apparently the it's not going to be fair. Russ, he goes in for the oh follow up, but he's going to get taken out. Yeah. Double kill for Rio. And there you go. Look at the survivability that this Harith has. Oh my goodness. But in the bottom lane, you can see Dane as well as uh, Carrie on. Kilua on the carry, Turtle, basically just poking each other. They're probably they're trying to farm their way up so that they could join team fights, so wherein they have more equipment so that they can deal more damage. But then again, I, I wanted to point out that Harith survivability. We know that this is a squishy mage, but you know the the kit on his skills. Uh, there's just a lot of survive potential, but looks like there's a team fight ongoing. In, on yeah, the looks like side. that's gonna be it. Jeff Kitty forever though, trying to zone in using the hurricane dance. Jade does the job very well. Dane is there trying to get something done, but apparently he's gonna be blocked as well. Archangel, they are doing a great zone defense. Probably will suffer a turret loss. He does. Dane goes down with the foul, with the Zalman Force. He's able to dish and Dexter out. But the damage has been done, and Archangel, they got what they wanted. They get a turret, they get some gold. Then again, this is Archangel focusing on objectives more than going for the fights. The kills were just bonuses, and you can see, again, once after you finish taking down the tier 1 turret in the middle lane, they went for uh, trying to take away some jungle monsters on the side of Finesse Phoenix. They keep on denying jungle. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, you can see here just basically poking each other, Thamos as well as Claude, but Claude has to be very careful. It seems that Archangel, we, uh, Archangel already saw that Claude is all alone. Let us take advantage on the bottom lane. So far, Dane is just trying to control this bottom side of the map while everyone from Archangel is already making plans to take him out. Wave is doing the same thing on the top side of the map while uh, Tats and Russ trying to rotate around the map, trying to look for targets. And look at that, free turret in the bottom lane for the side of Team Archangel weak head mines. Let's see though if this four man rotation inside of Fitness Phoenix uh, will they be able to get the tier one turret in the bottom lane? But it looks like there's gonna be an exchange of turrets on the bot and oh top God. lane. Tier 1 on top lane, but looks like uh, Archangel getting a tier two, 2 on the bottom side of the map. More gold, more map control. Don't forget, they're also starting to rotate. They might catch up the Martis as well. And it looks like that is going to be another fight ongoing. Jay is going to be following up very, very shortly. Zaman Force already on the ground. Rio dashing in and out. Has enough safety and has the protection of Lusty and Jeff Keeley forever. With Jay very, very close by as well. Man, Archangel Wigan, uh, Archangel Warrior is so fluid. Uh, look at that after the, the objective. No, another objective in here 
where where they wanted to get this. I think this is the second turtle of the game, if I'm not mistaken. But look at that finesse trying to dive in they and go for it. a fight. Yep, Rio going to be in the middle of the fight, untouched once more. That kid is going places, ladies and gentlemen. And he's fighting, has a lot of damage with a chrono dashes, non-stop dashing action all the way from the turtle into the mid. And no protection. That Claude looks like he's going to die in the hands of the Thomas in the bottom lane. This is a mistake. Oh my goodness. You can see how well um, they are teaming up or pairing up. Apparently, we saw Finesse Phoenix. Um, it seems like they forgot about that they have a Claude to, pr to protect. <laughs> Man, that was mean, dude. But apparently, yes, that was the case. That was the I case. Mean, that it, was happening. That, that's what we saw. It's starting to look like they don't mind Dane at all. They're trying to look for opportunities to protect him, but Dane has a different plan of his own. And I already feel the communication breaking down from the, the squad, from Finesse, just showing, just seeing how well Archangel is also playing them around the map. Yes, you're right. And still, um, well, one turret down for the side of Archangel, uh, Archangel. But then again, the map control is on their hands as they have actually took away three turrets already from the hands of Venus Space. Then again, here, once again, no protection oh at all. This Dane, all alone in the top lane, not really overextending, but he is actually all alone with no support at all. But Jay going so low, thanks to the... Uh, Finally, thanks to the backup from the side of the, the rest of the members of Finesse Phoenix. But and at this point, we already have the rest of Archangel going in for the chase. Most of the ultimates for Finesse are already used up. So that allows Archangel to move this confidently, gets a turn from the blue side. And again, more map control, as we said earlier. 7,000 already on the gold lead. Yeah, and they didn't have to wait for the creep wave. The Thamus just basically uh, took all the damage coming up from the turret. They know that they, uh, with the rest of the members or the damage coming up from the rest of the members of Archangel, they could take away that turret for additional objective on their hands. Yeah, I really like the follow-up from Finesse there. Uh, didn't finally they recognize that they does not, cannot do this alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but apparently, I think at that point, they used up so oh. many ultimates to try to clean up. So Archangel was just given free reign around the map to do so. Right now, they're doing that as well. Going for the Lord area. Rio is waiting for the perfect opportunity to use his ultimate of his and get the cross on the ground. Uh, but apparently, they can split this up quite nicely and they can still function properly. Lord is now at 30%. Sound of the middle of the fight. Russ is going to be locking up everyone. Oh! Lord will be taken by Finesse. And the coming team fight will be taken by Archangel. But that is just the breathing room that they need yeah. to get back into this game. Yes, thanks to that still coming up from that gushion. It was Finesse Tats. Actually, a while ago, we could actually see Finesse Tats uh, or the gushion inside of Finesse Phoenix wanting to go to the back lane and trying to target Kiluwash on using the carry. But apparently, it seems uh, probably the retribution went available at the same time. So they were able to take away that uh, or steal that Lord or first Lord of the game, but oh wait, what happened to Jeff Kitty forever? Jeff Kitty forever in a very weird spot yeah. trying to steal the buff again. All from alone. Finesse, just a bit too much at that point. A uh, small overstep again, overconfidence might be kicking in. Yep. So far, Archangel is pretty much in the lead here, 7,000 gold. But I think that could disappear very soon. Don't forget, they have a Martis. Mm. They also have a Claude, great the late game for taking out members from Archangel. And this time they have already realized Kaya now with the Claude or rotating probably near the Claude and uh, Grok as well. They really have to take care of their main source of damage. Actually, they doesn't have enough kills yet and sometimes kill, kills would matter because kills would actually give you more gold than just assists. Exactly. And of course for the meat, that, that depends I guess. For wizard boots, if I have a wizard boots, yeah, I would yeah, go for this. Yeah. I usually do that personally. So uh, for the meantime, Finesse, they are getting some of the map back on their side, mm -hmm. which is very, very important. If you let Archangel go around the map by themselves, you're going to have a hard time getting that uh, control back. Right now, Kiluash is also in a pretty good spot. 4-0-1 on the carry. Has the uh, Wind of Nature as well as the Endless Battle locked in with the Thunderbelt. So free items 
four, this carry is going to hurt a lot later on. It's going to hurt, especially now that the tanks on the side of Finesse Phoenix are getting more tanky items that will boost their HP bars. But then again, HP more HP bars you have, the more the damage the carry will deal, uh, will deal against you. So we can see here four man or uh, yeah four man rotation from side of Mark Angel wanting to get this here to turn on the top lane. Looks like they're gonna give it freely away, and there you go, one more goals on the pot of Archangel. And Archangel, they are going for the fight near the jungle area. They're very confident right now. Jato, very, very low HP. Has a hurricane that he used it, but he goes down. Salmon Force in a very tight corridor. That is very much in favor of Archangel here. And they are still fighting it up. Dane, he disappeared once he went in. And that is going to be a very bad sign for Finesse Phoenix. So many overextensions and so many misplays. Jeff Healy forever, though. Going to be the consolation prize here for the blue side squad as Kaluash goes on the hunt. And there you go, Taz trying to back away. Will he get caught getting slowed down? It's a battle of bursts. Kilowash though, very low on HP bars. Will he get more H all life still in there for you? But it will back up off the uh, Beleric. Wow, that Beleric and uh, carry combo definitely oh. working so well for Archangel. <laughs> I really like the teleport. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what an animation. I'm going to need to get my, gonna need to buy that I soon. Don't have so. Yeah, I think I don't know if you can buy it. I think you can, but how do you get it? I think you get it from the, the roulette. You remember the uh, the the thing where the there's like I a see. box, a lucky so box. So it's gone now. Prob I think there's oh, maybe man. a day or two days. Maybe you can try to buy for it. I think it's like ten or fifteen diamonds each wow. try. I don't know if you're gonna. If, I don't know if you're willing to do that for that animation. <laughs> anyway, Finesse Phoenix are definitely um, starting to kick it. Uh, Archangel, ten thousand gold ahead, Lord, and Dane. Man, I have not seen a good play from this guy yet. Yeah. I, I, they, there's so many times he tries. Oh. He tries to go in with the Blazing Duet, but he gets eliminated almost immediately. Rio, though, gonna be very, very close. They are uh -huh. waiting right now, and they went in! And looks like Rio gonna be taken care of, but the Chrono Dash shield is still gonna be so much to deal with. Kiluash on the chase, taking out tanks like there's no tomorrow. Wave as well, cannot deal with the damage from this carry, and Archangel definitely spreading their wings high on this one. Apparently, the Courage Bulwark is being uh, taken by Tian on the Kaya. It is not helping that much. Still, there's a huge gap on the gold, and you can see... Oh, two-man lockdown! It is Zaman Force to boot! What else can you ask for in that Nothing fight? Else. Nothing else! And as you can see in here, they can actually potentially end the fight. Look at the emoticon Ooh. from the side of our Angels. They want to end this on 2-0! Apparently, that's going to be the case. There's a small BM at the end. Archangel take out a victory against Finesse Phoenix. Wow. That was wow. very impressive from yeah. Archangel. Very impressive, very fluid. Well, um, it is two. Oh, it's actually not a 6 0 11.